people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now people, sometimes they say a loss is bitter. Sometimes they say a victory is sweet. Sometimes they say there's a thing called the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And um, people, we see that off lately. Since the JLP won the election, we see that the PNP has been very bitter. We see that they are not taking it too well. And um, people, we see that they are fighting against the JLP. However, what is even worse, it seems as if there is some sort of infighting as it pertains to some parliamentarian, some councillor in a place called St. Thomas. I am speaking about Dr. Ferguson. I am speaking about councillor Washi. And I am also speaking about a person whose name is Con Bogle. So anyways, councillor Washi, he made some voice note the other day. And it is on the video that is before this one. And he had a lot of things to say. I think he spoke for at least 10 minutes. So anyways, people, this is Con Bogle's response to councillor Washi. Claiming that Dr. Ferguson was sold out by his own PNP and basically the JLP bought the vote of the PNP. So that is why they won in St. Thomas and that is why they had a landslide victory because they um, used money to buy out the by election or the general election. So people, take a listen, take a look and then let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, morning, um, Jamaica. This is a message to Councillor Washi. I just finished listening to your message, a very passionate plea about what the people of St. Thomas has done to Dr. Ferguson, the People's National Party, and the corruption that took place last week in the election. Very, very corrupted thing take place in this election, and not one that we, we back in in any way, shape, nor form. But me have a question for you now, Washi. Me tell you the truth. Cause me come from St. Thomas. See? And me have a question for you. Dr. Ferguson come at St. Thomas. Come see we have a money. Me am two dollar bill. It is no longer here. Dr. Ferguson come here. Come see we have a statue. It is no longer here. Right? So is, the, the truth is, is Saint, does St. Thomas value more now or it value less since Dr. Ferguson? Come here. It value at less since he come here. Because we don't have no money and we don't have no, we don't have no statue. And I bring this to the attention of Ferguson and several occasions and try to sit down and have discussion with him how we can deal with this. We have been lighting a thousand candles, Washi. Everything ear for the people them were dead at St. Thomas. One thousand candles, one thousand house burned on the Sawashi. One fucking thousand house burned on the Sawashi. Right? And, and over seven thousand people dead. And we have a memorial for them. Ferguson will promote it. In do every fucking thing for kill it. So who for go make them go? Who for do it? A me name can bogle me say who for go make them fucking go Ferguson, him come here come see we with statue, him come here come see we with money, and we don't have neither statue nor money, and we could have lift up Jamaica, everywhere you're looking at Jamaica right now, nine days time if a man dead, people are like Kangal, ask them how it start, it's Bogle start it, right, what does Ferguson do to lift up Paul Bogle and the people them who died, and this memorial that is taking place, right, to bring the sacrifice of the people to the forefront. Nothing. Let Ferguson watch it. And then they plea more Ferguson like the Lord Jesus. When I go about in business. I make, make, make the thing get clean up. I know about Labour Party. I know Labour right. But Ferguson, I don't know if you are in my yard. I don't know if you are in my yard. So I hope this message will be sent to watch it. See? I hope somebody send on this message to watch it. The king was a can say. Ferguson. Now people, when we listen to a video like this, I want you to ask yourself what is the motive. People, money is always a motive. So is this a case where a thief don't like to see the next thief with long bag? Now people, the truth and the facts that it is bad enough when we see the PNP and the JLP a clash. 
However, when we see PNP I go against PNP, people it does not look good. It seems as if there is problem in paradise and people that is the case. And based on what this man is saying, it seems as if Dr. Ferguson E is played out. It seems as if his time is up. It seems as if he basically devalued the PNP. And the truth and the facts that based on the election, it was overwhelming on the side of the JLP. It was a landslide. So therefore, even if there was no sort of vote buying going on, people, it seems as if the JLP would have won point blank and period. And people, I don't know, may just have said based on the result. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, we see that the Big C situation is getting out of hand in Jamaica. And before they opened the border, it was... 600 plus positive big c cases however people we see that that has basically quadrupled or five times or six times more we are speaking about it is now currently in excess of 3400 so people based on the fact that the situation is getting from bad to worse we see that the government of jamaica the jlp they are making plans to basically solve the situation so therefore they said they plan to build some sort of field hospital we are speaking about in the corporate era we are talking about kingston or saint andrew and people if you remember the government had planned to build some sort of field hospital at the national arena however based on the plans it is saying that they are getting the components to build at least three field hospital and the first field hospital the components will be coming into jamaica within the next two weeks so people it seems as if they've already broken ground however they did not divulge where exactly this place is going to be but based on the information from the ministry of health and the jlp the government they said that they are going to start the first one in a kingston and saint andrew then a next one in the middle of the island i think on the south coast to be specific and then a next one on the west coast so people, based on the fact that they claim that the components are supposed to be in Jamaica within the next two weeks, so people, it sounds as if it is some sort of temporary hospital until the situation kind of gets resolved. So people, it seems as if they are getting these components from China and people, I am just speculating. Now people, like them said, desperate times calls for a desperate measure. And we see that Jamaica has been plagued by the dengue. It has been plagued by the chick V and people, if you remember anything about the chick v at least 50 percent or maybe about 75 percent of jamaican caught that chick v so people if the government of jamaica could not deal with a disease or some sort of epidemic like that what is going to happen as it pertains to the big sea people it is only going to get worse and worse now people the moral of the story is this you have to understand that whenever there is any sort of epidemic or pandemic any sort of chaos and catastrophe a lot of money is being spent so therefore it is easier for these thieves we are speaking about these politicians to be a scally squander we are talking about public funds we are speaking about from the taxpayers their money so people we see that there is a hustle going on whenever there is any sort of chaos and catastrophe point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up